Hello everyone and welcome back. You might have heard of the term continuous integration and continuous deployment, or CICD for short. Practically, it allows you to automatically build an APK of your Flutter app whenever you push to your repository. But the advantage of this is that the build process does not happen on your computer, but on a cloud server. This way your entire team and testers have access to the newest changes without them having to build it themselves. I have tried three services which offer free CI CD, CodeMagic, GitHub Actions and CircleCI. My personal choice was CircleCI because I think they offer the best free plan and also the fastest build times. CodeMagic was a bit too slow for my taste and GitHub Actions was slow as well and also setup was a bit more complicated than its two competitors. CodeMagic would probably be my second choice though because of its distributing capabilities for the Apple and Play Store. So I will now show you how to set up your project with CircleCI and GitHub. Also, CircleCI is not sponsoring this video, I mean, I wish they would sponsor me, they are awesome, but instead this video is based entirely on my own experience. And if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing to help me making more videos, just like this one. I have set up a little Dart project here, it's a default project, and I have just created it. The first thing we need to do is to publish it to some kind of repository. So let's use VS Code to upload it to GitHub. We can just quickly click on publish to GitHub, give it a name and I will choose a private repository. VS Code now has done everything to publish it to GitHub and we can open it in GitHub now. So we can open up GitHub and we see our project here. Now we can head to circleci.com and click on go to app and we can now log in with GitHub. Normally you would have to authenticate yourself, but I was already logged in, so I could just click on login with GitHub. Anyways, it should be pretty easy and seamless. Normally you should be prompted with another screen, but you can, if you're prompted with this screen, you can just click on projects, and then you have a list of all your GitHub projects. Of course, I'm gonna choose CICD testing because this was the GitHub repo we want to set continuous integration up for. So let's click on set up project. Now we will have to write the YAML script that will run whenever we push to the GitHub repository. We can pretty much delete everything from the default script until the version 2.1. We can just let that stay there. And now we'd have to define a job. Hit colon and then enter and now we have to tab in once. And now we have to define the build job. And from there on we can type docker. And this is the docker environment we want to use. So type image, colon again, and we will use the Cirrus CI and then slash flutter container. And we can press enter again. And now shift tab to go back one step. And we have to define some steps. And the steps will of course be that we first check out the code from GitHub. So basically download or git git clone the this repository. Then we want to run a command. So we type run colon and which command do we want to run? Run flutter doctor just in case something is not right with the environment or anything. Then we want to run another command. In this case it would be flutter test. And of course you can also change this file. For example you could delete the flutter test line if you don't want to run any tests. Now we just have to to the last run file, which would be that we build the file actually. And I like to build a fat IPK, so not split it for each and different mobile version of Android. And I do that because it's just a bit faster. And I want to build the release version. And the last thing we have to do is to somehow make the APK file that was generated accessible. And this accessible file is then called an artifact. And for each run, for each job you do, you can upload artifacts, which you can then later on access. And in our case, this would be an APK file, which we can then download. And so the command for that is store artifacts. Artifacts. Like that, colon then tap ins one more and now we have to define the path of either the folder or a specific file and I will just quickly copy and paste the file of the 
APK because I don't want to write that out. And also I forgot to indent the path. So now we will upload the APK release file once it's built. And that's all there is to it. Now we can click on add config. This will take a second because it has, has to add it to the GitHub repository as an extra branch. It will create a new branch for just the CircleCI project setup. You can later on merge them together. And I misspelled the container here. So now we can actually see how we can edit the file. We can go back to GitHub and choose the new branch it has created. And that's why we do that in a separate branch, just in case we made some mistakes. And you will see that CircleCI has created a new folder, .circleCI. You can enter it and there's a config.yaml file. And this was the file we just edited. And we can edit it right into the browser, just by clicking on this little pencil here. And it actually has to be Cirrus CI. Click on commit changes. And now it should run pretty well. You can also already see that we have a little yellow dot next to our next to our commit history. And if you click on that, we can see what our build status is on SQL CI without us having to do anything. And we can also click on details to then see what exactly happened. On our dashboard, we can see any builds that are happening at the moment of any project we are following. So we can then click on the pipeline. A specific project is called a pipeline. And then we can click on the individual statuses or workflows to get more information about it. And then we can see there's one job is running in this pipeline. You can click on the workflow. And you can also see the breadcrumbs on here just in case you're getting lost, you can hop back. And then you can see it's spins up the environment. So that was um, actually downloading the Docker image. Then it has to prepare some environment variables, check out the code. So downloading the project, then it has to run Flutter Doctor, Flutter test, and now it's building the APK. And also you can see it automatically ran this once we pushed here. Now we can see that it took two minutes and seven, 17 seconds, which is pretty fast, I think, for a build on a cloud server. And we can also click on this artifacts tab to see the artifacts that it created. And we can click on that and download it. As a little side note, you can click on your projects, go back to the project right here, CICD testing, and click on project settings. Now let's go to advanced and scroll down a bit. If your repository is public, you can, you can enable this option right here and get 400,000 free credits per month, which is pretty awesome. So I've used this multiple times now. The only caveat with this is that others will see your project builds. But I mean, it's open source anyway, so I think it's not too bad. Also, it's worth $2,880 per year, so I don't think you should miss it out. In CircleCI, you're paying with credits for build time. So how much time you're using their service. And you can click on this little plan symbol here to see how much you're paying or how much credits you're using if you have a free plan. So you can click on plan usage and you can see that I used 319 total credits and that this little CICD testing project here took two minutes and this is 25 credits. With the free plan, you get 2,300 free credits per week. Only really drawback here is that you only can run job at a time and that you can only build on Linux and Windows. So if you want to run iOS builds for your Flutter app, you might have to upgrade here. For example, with the performance plan, you can get building on macOS as well. Now to end this video, let's just quickly merge those two branches together. So what we can do is go back to our master branch and click on compare and pull request up here. This will be the name of the pull request. We can really just leave it here. Just make sure that you want to merge the CircleCI project setup branch into the master branch. So this little arrow is pointing at the master. So then click on create pull request, watch out for any merge conflicts and click merge pull request. Confirm merge. And now you're left with only one branch, the master branch. Actually, that's not true. You still have two branches, but you can go ahead and click on this two branches thingy here. And then you can look out for the CircleCI project setup branch and click on this little bin right here to delete it. There we go. Now you're truly left with only one branch. But before you delete the branch, don't forget to actually merge them together. And that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing and commenting down below if you have any questions. And till then, see you next time.